I was in a fireside chat recently and the person who was interviewing me asked me a question about the increased levels of burnout and decreased well-being that so many people have experienced. And she said to me, how do we get to the light at the end of the tunnel? How do we get to this light where we feel well and happy? And I thought about this a little bit and I wanted to share this reflection with you, which is that when we are in the tunnel, we don't need to be racing for the light. Part of being in the tunnel, this tunnel of exhaustion or depletion, is also recognizing that the tunnel has sides, that we can lean against the side of the tunnel and take a breath. We can sit on the floor and we can cry. We can name our emotions in the tunnel, the disappointment or the loneliness, and we can ask ourselves what is the value, what is the need that is being signposted by that emotional experience. We can reach out for other people's hands in the tunnel and we can just hold those hands metaphorically, knowing that we are not alone. I've come to realize that so much of well-being is not about grasping for the light. So much of well-being is about learning how to see in the dark.